Hey, it's Dorita here, and today I'm going to talk to you about divisibility rules. So, divisibility rules basically just let you um, look at a number, and when you look at some specific things, you can tell if different numbers are, um, are factors. If you can actually divide your number that you're looking at by, um, by any number 1 to 10. So, um, all it takes is a few simple um, rules that you can learn very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take you through the process. And this is what we do with, uh, with our kids at school um, to get them to practice using these different rules and determining um, factors for numbers. So we're going to use today, we're going to use, thank you Thor, if I don't need your help. Okay, so we're going to use 84. And the reason that I like 84 is because it's got tons of factors. So we always make this little chart. Okay, so I've got 84, and we call this a T chart because it looks like a capital T. And I'm going to put the, all of the factors on it. So I'm going to start off, and the very first factor that is always, always, always going to be a factor pair is going to be 1 times the number. Okay? So I've got 1 times 84. Now, um, the second factor that I look for is a 2. And that's easy to tell because it will have a 2 because 84 is an even number. Okay? So it's going to be 2 times half of 84, which is 42. Okay? The next factor that I need to look for is going to be a 3. Um, and a 3 is extremely easy to figure out for any number. All you have to do is add the digits together. And since the digits for 84 are 8 and 4, Four, I'm going to add those together, and my sum is 12, okay? So that tells me that 3 is going to be a factor because 12 is a multiple of 3. So I figure out 3 times what is 84, so I think about it for a few minutes, and I realize that 3 times 20 is 60, and then that leaves me 24, so 3 times 8 is 24, so I've got 3 times 28. Okay, now I look to see if I've got a 4. Well, the divisibility rules I've seen in the past have said that if the, for the last two digits are divisible by four, the whole number is divisible by four. But that's kind of hard to tell. The, an easier way to do this is, number one, you know that it's divisible by two because you can half it once. Well, if you look at the number that, that you got when you generated the, the factor pair with two, you see that it's also even which means you can half 42. Well, since you can half this number, you're going to have a 4. So you have a 4 times half of this, which is 21. Okay? Now, I look to see if I'm going to have a 5. And I'm not because every single multiple of 5 has a 1's digit of either 0 or 5. And it doesn't. 84 doesn't. So I look for a 6. Well, since I have a 2 and I have a 3, I'm going to have a 6. So that's kind of cool to know. So I look and I've got my 6. And I know that I doubled 3 to get 6. So I look over here and it's going to be half of this one. So half of 28 is 14. So I've got 6 times 14. The next one to look for is a 7. And so the really cool thing is, because I've never seen a a good explanation of um, a divisibility rule for seven. But here's the cool thing. If you're making this list and you look over here and you see, oh, this is a multiple of seven, and so is this, and so is this, and so is this. If you've got any multiples of seven over here, you're going to have a factor of seven. So you come down here and you're going to have a seven. Well, it's going to be, it's a basic fact, seven times twelve. And if I look at these two sets of numbers, the 6 is actually double to make 12, and the 14 is halved to make the 7. So that's kind of cool, too. Okay, so I look for an 8. Not going to be an 8 because 4 is times an odd number. I can't half it again. There's not going to be a 9 because this little thing up here is not a multiple of 9. And so that's the cool thing about this is that it actually gives you two, um, two tests for 3 and 9. And there's not going to be a 10 because all multiples of 10 have a 0 um, in the 1's digit. So um, actually whenever I look at this and I realize that there's not going to be an 11 and I already have my 12, I'm done. 
So that's a very quick way to show you how to um, do a divisibility test and find all of the factors for the numbers. And so um, on my blog, I'm going to actually write out the, um, the instructions so that you can see how to actually look at this. Uh, the cool, really cool thing though, is, is that if the number that you choose is an odd number, all you have to do is check the odd numbers because you're never going to make an odd number out of out of anything that has an even factor. So, uh, so if you've got an odd number like 95, um, then all you have to do is check uh, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And that's going to be your divisibility for that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, check out my blog so that you can get the, um, the, the document that actually gives the divisibility rules. And, um, and then um, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like this. And, uh, and find me on Facebook. I would be, uh, be happy to connect with you. So thanks a lot, and I will see you on the next video.